Hey everyone, I'm Spencer and I am so excited to be a part of the new Finding Cupid collaboration. Well, with summer officially over, or what I consider officially over because the pumpkin spice latte is back at Starbucks, you've probably had to say goodbye to that summer fling. I didn't have a summer fling this summer because I was dumped right before summer. But here are the four things that I have learned from my past summer flings. One, the sun and the heat make you do crazy, crazy things. It's hot out and people are sweaty and especially in Los Angeles, everyone is walking around in some sort of undress. It's like tank tops and short shorts or shirtless or crop tops and the girls are dressed as naked as the boys and like this heat literally puts people in heat. It's like four seconds from an orgy like wherever you go and I think it just you just want to be next to those hot sexy bodies and find someone and fling them for the whole summer. Just fling them. Everywhere. Two. A summer fling can essentially be a full relationship, but on fast forward. You go through the first date to falling in love or like or lust or whatever it is to the breakup w within a few weeks. But I think you can do this because it is summer and you have time to devote to that person and you live in this honeymoon phase in this whirlwind romance which can sometimes be better than a normal relationship. But honestly, don't go too crazy and like get their name tattooed on you or anything like that. Because while you might not regret the fling, you probably will regret the dolphin tattoo with the cherries in its mouth jumping over the name Mike. And I'm honestly very sorry if you do have that tattoo. I really hope he was worth it. Three. Summer sex is not sexy. Beach, pool, hot tub. I think we've all had these fantasies and it looks really, really hot on the CW, but they do not make for good sexy time. Beach. Sand is just uncomfortable 100%. It gets in places sand should never be. I don't need my like insides exfoliated. I don't want sand flying in my face or in my mouth. It's just, just pass all together. The pool and the hot tub. I think we've all tried this and some probably very successfully and if that is the case please contact me. Um, but for the most part, like in my head, like I want Elizabeth Berkley in Showgirls where she's like flopping like a dolphin and just there's water and but I don't get that. I get things not going into places easily, and I get waterlogged, and it's just uncomfortable and not hot. And I mean, out of just, there's hundreds of other places to get it on. Like, choose anywhere except for pool, beach, and hot tub. And number four. There doesn't have to be a musical number with leather jackets and poodle skirts and singing to, like, signify the end of your relationship. It's perfectly okay for your summer fling not to last. Go and have fun. They aren't supposed to be the love of your life, but they are someone that you've connected with and you've shared this amazing time with, and they've made you happy. And I think essentially at the end, that's what matters. I mean, unless you've picked wrong and then that's completely your fault and you have a year to think about your mistakes and do better. So those are the four things that I have learned from my summer flings. Have you guys had successful summer flings? And if you have, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the Finding Cupid channel for more videos from me and Team Cupid. Oh, and for more on me, you can check out the link to my personal channel, channel below. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.